Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up quickly your uh, ESS 5.5 kW uh, hybrid inverter uh, using uh, the solar power software. Uh, we have a full system here with 10 kW hours energy storage and the inverter. We have just connected the USB to our programming uh, serial cable. It's very important to get one of these cables. You can use it to update uh, the firmware of the inverter and the other side is a serial to RJ45 connection and we put this to the COM port we open the solar power here we are the inverter serial number will appear on the top left side In, uh, in this uh, video, we're going to show you how to set it up for backup too. This is the most common uh, configuration. You go to the device control, grid tight with backup, grid tight with backup too. Here we decided to charge only from solar. If you want to allow the grid to charge your batteries, you can select the second option in the drop down menu load supply when PV is available and load supply when the PV is unavailable. Here you can play with the priorities, it's entirely up to you. We decided not to export any energy back to the grid and we don't charge from the mains. If you want to charge from the mains or the grid, you allow PV and grid and then the AC charger can also be adjusted. So you can set the charger to top up your batteries with uh, low cost electricity. We are in uh, the UK at the moment, so the preferred uh, standard is uh, the BD0126 or T83. And the voltage here is uh, 240 volts. We apply the settings. If you change the standard, uh, we need to provide you with a factory password. You need to contact us uh, via email to give you the, the password. So the system now is ready. Uh, it's a nice sunny day, so we get uh, 1.6 and 1.8 kilowatts from uh, our solar array. Uh, on this side, the window, we can see the grid voltage, the PV, one and PV2 voltage and the battery capacity. For the backup two mode, it's extremely important to connect your uh, uh, energy meter that is provided with uh, the ESS inverter. And uh, you also have to wire this meter back to the Modbus card. The Modbus card is down there, RS485. And this is a special cable that is delivered with your inverter. We are going now to show you how the energy meter works. So this is our energy meter. It functions uh, uh, okay because the telephone icon is on. If the telephone icon is not on, it means you did not establish communication between the Modbus card and the energy meter. Our consumption is zero. Uh, at the moment we have 650 watts load and it is actually all the lights in our warehouse but uh, as you can see we withdraw nothing from the grid that's a good sign that our system works fine uh, in the next step we are gonna connect uh, the solar assistant that will uh, give you more uh, uh, data for uh, our uh, system okay we we connected uh, the solar assistant this is our box uh, Lawrence Pi uh, microcontroller connected back to the COM port the communication port of the inverter with a special cable this is made specifically for this inverter uh, the raspberry or orange pi is connected to the ethernet and this is the 5 volt uh, usb-c this is the main screen very basic but really important information as we said this is our load 600 uh, watts this is now our pv power it dropped from the previous uh, part of our video and as you can see this energy flows uh, to the, the battery as well so we are gonna switch on more loads please stay connected
Now, as you can see, our uh, family load or uh, the, the load of the building actually, the family load uh, is nearly three kilowatts, and the majority of this, uh, actually, all this energy comes from our uh, solar and uh, the battery. Of course, it fluctuates because the sun goes up and down all the time but it is a good sign that our system works as it should be there is no energy coming from the grid this is all from solar and uh, our battery uh, there is uh, a good amount of information uh, from solar assistant if you want to know more about this you can visit our website uh, all the hybrid and the off-grid inverters are compatible with uh, this platform so, as you can see, we are uh, in a self-consumption uh, mode, we still don't withdraw anything from the grid. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave your comments uh, on YouTube or contact Volta directly.